Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Optimus P 517 coming back with you with another shoe review. Today's November 12, 2011, and these were released today. Um, you probably can guess at this point because there's probably a handful of videos already. Size 11, Nike Zoom Rookie. And the colorway is binary blue, black, and white. Suggested retail value, 200 bucks or an arm and leg so swung by to Nike Town to pick it up try them on first thing first I do want to let you guys know these are true to size so if you're thinking about going a half size up I would I would stay away from it because I, I tried it out because I thought my glow in the darks were the the luminous pearl were a little snug but I tried them out warm around the house and I wanted her to get the get the facts down right, I guess that's the way to call it, or, or just just to confirm what I'm doing. But the main thing was I tried on eleven and a half. They hurt my feet more actually. So true to size, that's what I would go with. But on 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 with the kicks. Bam. Uh, swung by Nike Town. Nobody was in line. These are probably definitely a, a, a DC or DC, Maryland, Virginia type of kicks. So those guys probably swallowed it up. Um, but I like them. You know, if you're a big Penny fan, which I was back in the days, I had a Penny jersey, but I don't know where I put it. I don't fit in them anymore because I was a kid. Um, but I, I got the blue foams and got a few other foams but this is the main thing you know these these are cool um these are actually remember in my luminous pearl video i weighed these out compared to the foams these are about three four ounces heavier so keep that in mind uh performance wise i really can't say how they are but let's get on with the review of the shoe um first thing first the shoe is very nice. It's got a clear icy blue sole, or well, it's not blue, but icy sole on the bottom. The pods, it's kind of a Concord purple color, a dark, dark blue. Carbon fiber plate on the bottom. Same on the side right here. The body mostly is the foam posit type material. This is the binary blue colorway. Um, one thing I just noticed right here, I don't know if that's a, a defect to manufacturing, but that's something that I noticed. Um, something you can't really point out from that angle, so if you're looking from top to bottom, it then doesn't really matter, I guess. And then the tongue. I think this is suede material. It's got the rubber penny logo mesh. The simple line design. And the swoosh right here, black laces. You've seen it before. Turn the light on. It says rookie on the left shoe or the left foot, and it has number one on the other one. And then the back on the pull tab it says flight. So it has the two pots on the outside aesthetic design to it the piece right here this is all that suede new buck derbuck whatever material you call it I think I gotta go to class for it for that kind of stuff because I never know what it is um, but there they are so very nice very nice colorway very clean colorway and these two are probably the only colors I'm gonna pick up for right now the luminous pearl and the binary blue don't really like the other ones. I do want a pair of the Atlantic, the one that came out at Soul Collector event down in Vegas. And um, word of mouth is that they are going to release those later, so I really don't want to pay that extra money right now on eBay. There's a couple pairs on there, but I really, really hope that they do come out later on next year or this year because um, it, it's a clean colorway. Comfort-wise, I will tell you this, from, from wearing the glow-in-the-darks for a little bit, they're probably not the most comfortable shoe. 
Um, if you want a little bit of comfort, I would probably recommend throwing in a different insole with a little more cushion to it. From what I've felt, you can't really feel the zoom air units in, this, in these. It's in there somewhere. Um, if somebody want to break down the shoe and then tear it apart, feel free, but it's in there somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I can't really feel it either compared to LeBron 9s or even the Kobe's or, or the Jordan 2011s. So, um, there they are. There, there. Nope, sorry, that sounds like Hickville, but there they are. Anyways, Binary Blue. LWP. Some people are wondering, um, in case you are, what LWP stands for. It's Lightweight Performance, uh, Zoom Lightweight Performance Rookie. So, just want to let you guys know about that as well. Um, if you want to see a footage of these on feet, throw it in the comments right down below, right down there, because I'm actually going to just post this up and um, let you guys know what. what what you think so um that's pretty much it so you guys got any questions let me know rate comment subscribe i do have a few other videos coming in um i got a pair of adidas something is it's something off the wall that nobody would think of doing a, a review for um got a pair of regular new balance cross trainer i should be doing a review and um nothing fancy but it's more for the performance part part of and working out I got a pair of surprise that I'm very psyched about that's coming in. I have a pair ready, but this is the dead stock holy grail that I'm going to keep on hand. Um, I also got another pair of Spizikes coming in. Not going to do a review for that because I already did one. And then, of course, the upcoming, not next week, but the following week, the Black Cement 3s. Those are coming out on the 25th. Um, definitely pick them up. They look very nice. Went to House of Hoop yesterday to pick up the Spizikes, and I saw saw them in person in the glass case, and they were nice. So definitely picking up a few pairs of those. Um, I think after that, you got the Cannons, the LeBron Cannons, and then there, there's just too many shoes. Uh, you know, just keep an eye out. I don't know what to tell you. Just keep an eye out. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. I, I'll keep putting shoes out. But definitely, definitely appreciate all the subscribers. Um, appreciate the lookout. And that's why I keep doing these shoe videos as well. You know, I buy them because I love them. But I do the videos because I think it will be helpful for you guys. So, um, other than that, like I said, any questions, let me know. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.